Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be bashing together a Hot Wheels Heavy Hitcher and a 69 Chevy pickup to make a Heavy Chevy Hitcher. So I've got here the 2020 retool of the Chevy pickup and the Heavy Hitcher was first released in 2019. It's a sort of a fantasy tow truck. The first thing I'm going to do is to take the cars apart. The truck here has got a plastic body so be careful when you're drilling the posts out. Okay, so there's our little cars apart. I'll use some paint stripper now to remove the paint off of the Chevy casting. Now that the paint's removed, I'm going to use a cutting wheel on my Dremel to remove the deck at the back. go I'll be able to put the cab of the Chevy in where the cab of the heavy hitcher was next I'm going to cut off the parts I don't need from both of the bases the base from the Chevy was easy because it was plastic but the base from the hitcher was a pretty solid lump of metal Okay, so that's how they're going to go together. Use some super glue to join those. Here's the interior. I'm just going to cut the deck off of the back of that because I won't be needing it. cut this front section off of the toe arms then I've glued a block of styrene in the base here and then I'll wedge the toe arms in place I need some thin styrene to line the inside of the section that goes over the cab. I'm just going to use a little bit of milliput to fill out the little gaps in the sides there. So once this had dried, I could sand it down so it was a bit smoother. It's going to be a pretty rusty beater of a tow truck so I'm not too worried about everything looking super tidy. Okay now I can move on with some paintings. I've hit both of the body parts with some grey primer. I want a couple of different coloured panels on the truck so I start out with some liquid mask. I'm going to mask off the grey door. There we go. Now I'm going to hit the bonnet and that other front panel there with some white. 
And I'm going to paint these with the mask as well. And then I hit the rest of the truck with some red. Now I'm going to take off that mask. Right, there we go. Now it's all looking a bit bright, especially the red. So I've mixed up a white wash here with some white paint and water. And this is applied all over, particularly the red areas. Once that's dried, it gives you more of a faded look. I painted the entire rear deck section red. Now I've made some signs to go on the side. I've printed these on some A4 paper. Next I'm going to use some 100 grit sandpaper to sand them down so that they're almost transparent. And then I'll use some watered down PVA glue to apply them onto my truck sides. Once they've dried, use enough glue to make them watertight. I've just detailed the shade there and then applied the white wash over the whole thing. Next I add some rust, so I'm just using a sponge here. I started out with an orange rust and then I followed it up with a darker brown once I was happy with my rust and it dried well I applied a dark pin wash to the panel lines so you can see I just brushed it over with some clear water before I added the wash and this helps it flow into the lines better. And again with the rear section Applied rust in the same method and then I followed that again with the dark wash I hit the base with some black primer and then I painted it silver. And then hit the base of it with some Vallejo rust texture with my airbrush. And I just use the sponge to add a little bit more rust around the bumper and the grill. And I finish this with a little bit of the dark wash. That loud orange tow bar section was hit with some black primer and then again with the silver 
and then rust it up and a light black wash applied here's the interior detailed it if you remember sticking out the top of the hauler there were a couple of lights and they were attached to the original bright fluoro orange windscreen so I've cut these off and then I paint them over with a couple of coats of Tamiya clear red here are the wheels I'm going to be using and I just use a similar method to the toe arms to make them look a bit grubby okay so here are all the parts of our heavy Chevy hitcher customized rusted up and ready to go back together so while I'm reassembling that, let's just take a quick look back at what we started with. Here's our quite cool looking 69 Chevy pickup. And that odd looking blue and orange heavy hitcher. So let's bash them together and see what we come up with. And here it is, a finished heavy Chevy hitcher. A rusty low riding pickup from Valeski's yard. This was a really fun build to make. I like making the rusty old bangers. And I really liked the look of those toe arms on the heavy hitcher, even though some of the rest of it looked a bit ridiculous. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Thanks heaps to everybody for supporting the channel. I hit 50k subs a few days ago. A huge thanks to everybody who subscribed to the channel. And an extra special thanks goes out to my awesome Patreon supporters who help to support the channel through Patreon. Check out the link in the description below if you'd like to help out as well. And finally, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see similar stuff, remember to check out my channel and subscribe to get notifications of future videos.